Etiosa local, East local government in Lagos. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Fagbeni, says part of the reforms that will be considered in the justice sector will be the review of cases that go to the Supreme Court. He made the statement while addressing journalists in Abuja ahead of the 2024 National Justice Summit on the need to unburden the Supreme Court. Celestine Area has more. Under Nigerians' extant electoral jurisprudence, parliamentary elections terminate at the Court of Appeal, whether rightly or wrongly, but the presidential and governorship election goes up to the Supreme Court. The upcoming 2024 Justice Summit will deliberate on and evolve ways to reduce the amount of time for adjudication of cases and the number of cases getting to the Supreme Court. This is to reduce the burden on the Supreme Court. At the summit, the 2024-2028 National Policy on Justice will also be reviewed, validated and adopted. The policy aims to address various challenges within the legal framework, seeking to promote social cohesion, bluster economic development and foster good governance. This comprehensive document, policy document outlines a broad framework and initiative in 17 thematic areas aimed at reforming the justice sector to enhance its effectiveness and accessibility to all Nigerians, ensuring that justice is not just a privilege for the few, but a right for all. In the country, potentially, we may not be having the experience that we need to have, but we have whatever it takes to actually translate into a great country. And the judiciary is one arm of government that will help us do that, and that is why this reform is important. This reform is a uh, Imperative. The summit with the team repositioning the justice system, constitutional, statutory and operational reforms for access and efficiency will be declared open by President Bolatunubu in Abuja on 24th April. The 2024 summit will allow for easy access to justice and also address issues bordering the country's judiciary. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.